hello, this is Mac and Computer Help, and today I am finally starting my programming tutorials on for the Objective C language. Now, in this first lesson, we'll be talking about what you need to program and the basics of how programs work and kind of why um, Objective C and stuff like that. Things about Objective C. First of all, what you need you'll need a source code editor, a compiler to once you type all your code to compile it and make it into a program. Um, also when you're doing programs with interface which is pretty much everything now you need to have a program to design the interface and you need debuggers programs that help you find flaws in your program because if you only have one semicolon off it can mess up the entire program or not the entire but parts of it won't work right now first thing Xcode and that is the source code editor and the compiler it's all in one um, as you can see that's where you type in the code um, and then you hit build and it compiles the program over th on the left is the icon next is the interface builder it helps you create the interface and lets you connect it back with the code it's split up into m m different windows at the top left it shows all the different objects of the program then the bottom left is the actual window and then the toolbar then on the right is the library where you can drag in a button or any of the different interfaces and then on the far right is where you can connect it up with the code now instruments this is for uh, debugging helps find leaks rec record program performance much more um, you can see when you first open it up there's a list of tasks that you can run uh, how much CPU it's taking up the memory lots of things great program and there's also a debugger inside Xcode for just simple um, mistakes more code mistakes now where to get it uh, where do you get these programs you can get them um, two places here um, if you have snow leopard disk they now bundle these on uh, the Apple operating system the Mac operating system and you can go or you can go to developer.apple.com slash iPhone and register for an account and then download them uh, from there if you're gonna be doing programming for the iPhone you're gonna need to register so you may as well go ahead and register now uh, but don't sign up for the developer program because um, there's really no need to unless you need to do that when you start uh, uploading your apps to the App Store. Now the life of a program, it starts out with just code that you type, the code and the interface that you make. Then it goes to the compiler and uh, compiler is built into uh, Xcode so you don't have to really worry about that. You just hit compile, compiles it and then it's on your uh, hard drive or wherever it is on your iPhone you know it's there then when you open it up it's there and running on screen so then you can actually see it so that's just kind of the simplified life of a program now what is objective C it's the computer language used by Apple and what we will be learning now why the name it's a subset of C so there you get the C part and then it's object orientated language so that uh, brings in the objective uh, you may say what is object oriented uh, program language well object oriented program on the left is um, example of a not object oriented uh, programming language how it'd be it would be all the uh, lists of things to do because a program really is just a list of instructions for the computer to run like if you're gonna make a program to make peanut butter and jelly you would do uh, 
get a plate, a uh, knife, and then uh, to lay two slices of bread close by each other on the plate, spread peanut butter on one half, jelly on the other half, and then put the two pieces together, lay it back down the plate. You know, except very more, a uh, lot more specific. But that you would break it up into chunks and object oriented. But if it's not, it's all in one kind of big long list. And they're not specified as different objects. So they still will be separated, but it's a whole lot harder if you have an air because it's all kind of put together in like that list. Now, object oriented on the right, you can see the start. If it goes through, if you have an air, you can just switch out an object for an object. Um, so it's a whole lot e uh, more versatile and a better programming experience, really. Now that's it for this tutorial. This was just a basic overview of programming for anybody who may not be around it um, ever before. So now the kind of homework, quote unquote, uh, download the SDK and that's software development kit. And that is the interface builder, Xcode, um, what you need to develop software um, like I went over in the tutorial. Uh, download that from Apple or get it off your Snow Leopard disk. And uh, if you download it off the internet, you'll need to register um, for an account with Apple with Programmer. Now, don't become a registered like Apple programmer. Um, if you, As long as you don't pay any money, that's fine because you don't need to right now because that's when you're uploading apps. But if these uh, tutorials help you, uh, please subscribe, comment, and rate five stars. Uh, all the feedback's greatly appreciated. And if you have any questions, comment below or send me a message or email. Thanks for watching.